Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. So today we have game two of round one on the uh, New England IPA side. Samuel Adams, New England IPA. Versus the Fat Orange Cat. Is that Cat Launch? Yeah, Launch. Launch. Launch, it looks like. Launch. Um, yep. Um, which is another New England IPA. So the one Brad is pouring, the Sam Adams, is 6.8% uh, ABV and comes in at 35 IBUs. The Fat Orange Cat uh, Launch is 8%. ABV and comes in at 45 IBU, so a little bigger beer, I would say, than yeah. than the New England IPA, which doesn't surprise me, because a lot of times Sam Adams will aim for the middle of the road kind of stuff, because right. obviously they're big enough, they have to uh, please a lot of people, where the small, smaller breweries can do whatever the hell they want. So. Right. So this should be an interesting one. I have had the Sam Adams, but that was last year. And, again, I don't know if they change, like, uh, you know, a Bells or somebody else year to year when they make them. My guess is no, because they're probably making so much of this. that You know, that, that hot pro profile, as long as it's close, is narrower because they're using so much versus a Bells, which is still using... A crap ton, but yeah. not as much. Yeah, I would say they're much more probably repeatable yeah. than their yep. recipes. So. so, okay, let's take a look. The color, the Sam Adams looks hazier. Oh, hazier. Yeah. Yeah. The fat orange cat it has, it looks like a lot of yeast protein mm -hmm. floating in there that's making it hazy instead of like the Samuel Adams where it's it looks like it's the oats. Orange juice, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, smells. Hmm. I'm getting more off the Sam Adams, actually. Wow, what? That's fat orange cat's weird. <laughs> well, it is a fat orange cat, so. Yeah, the the Samuel Adams is almost what I would think a traditional New England IPA would smell like. More juicy fruit up front, a tiny bit of yeast in there. I mean, the fat what orange cat that? smells good, but it's not. I don't know. I can't tell. I a can't tell what's going on. Yeah. Like a fruity grain? Yeah. I can't, I <laughs> like can't tell. Like grainy? I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> like. I don't it, know. You know, the cat looks like, you know, a grain, like a marisad or a darker grain. That's almost. What you're like getting. it's grainy. Yeah, it's so hard to tell what's going on there. That's weird. This could go quick. Okay, <clears throat> taste. Hmm. I think the Samuel Adams is lacking in flavor and it has a big bitterness bite on the back end. Rye? Spicy. Huh. Ah. What is that? I don't know. Rye? I think so. Is it? That might... Samuel Adams, hands down, like, the Fat Orange Cat doesn't even taste... Like a New England IPA. Yeah, there's something going on here. A traditional New England IPA. I don't like it. Whatever. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they did there. I, I would love to get the recipe and at least see what is going on. They don't say anything, so obviously we will uh, look on untapped, but... Yeah, it's almost like a rice or a spicy, grainy mixed with fruit, maybe? Yeah, I'm not a... I, oh. 
<laughs> be blunt here. I'm not, a, I'm not happy with either of them. <laughs> I'm going to choose Sam Adams. I almost want to be like a cat and puke up a hair, hairball after drinking that. Yeah, um, I would have to go with uh, Samuel Adams doing an IPA. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, that that was a quick one. Yes. Let us know. Obviously, we're going to do it. Actually, we're not going to do a review of the Fat Orange Cat. So let us know what you think about it if you've had it down in the comments below. But if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.